Jamaica's Candice McLeod and Rasheen McDonald produced stellar performances in the one nap event at the Jamen Diamond League, which happened in China yesterday. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it. Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at them. We break down the races. So, already, yep. Good to go. Well, at the Jamin Diamond League yesterday in the women's long jump, it was the world champion who once again leaped to victory. Okay, yeah, you saw that coming, right? You saw me say, you knew I was going to say something like leap to victory. I know it's corny, but it works. Serbian long jump superstar and current world champion, yes, Ivana Vulet jumped 6.88 meters to win in spectacular form in fact she put together an incredible series in this long jump event jump and this was round five and a brilliantly consistent sequence 679 674 677 and here in round five looking for something extra special and that was it now because you know jamaica is doing so well in the long jump uh, we have the triple jump world lead, of course, you know, the youngster, Mr. Hibbert. And we came second, third and fourth at the World Championships in the men's long jump. I just thought that you might find this interesting. So the world champion takes it in Xiaomen, China, in the Xiaomen Diamond League in the long jump, Ivana Vulet of Serbia. Incredible series. And she wins with a 6.88 meter jump. Now the... 400 meter sensation Rasheen McDonald showed up and showed out in the men's 400 meters at the Zhao Men Diamond League, which happened, of course, yesterday in China. In the men's quarter mile, the one lapper, one lapper came third behind a scintillating run by Kirani James and the American Quincy Hall. The Grenadian sensation Kirani James won it with a meet record and a season's best time of 44.38 ahead of Quincy Hall, who also equaled the season, season the meet record apologies with 44.38. Basically, they were on the same time. Rashid McDonald came third with a time of 44.82, and Vernon Norwood came fourth in a, with a time of of 44. Point nine nine eight. In lane four, with a slight lead, they come into the straight. Great running from Haydock Wilson on the inside too. The Britain has run a fantastic first 350. But look at this battle for the lead. Kirani James and Quincy Hall. Who's going to get there? I think the American... Really, really solid one there from Machine McDonald. Looking good. Now, we did see him in the opening leg of the men's 4x400 four meter relay. Um, in the finals, in the heat, he ran a great race. But in the finals... Um, if I'm to be honest, he did not run as great as one would have hoped. Competitor picked up a bronze medal, so he's going to be a strong lead-off leg runner for the United States. But he's stalling here, Quincy Jones. He's changed the baton in his hands. He's treading water, but he is going to maybe pass the baton off in the lead while the other teams have come back into... So, kudos and congrats to Rasheed McDonald in his third, third place run there at Zhao Ming in china the gentleman diamond league now candice mcleod continues to prove why she is one of the top seven 400 meter runners on the planet the last time well the yesterday when she lined up against the world champion paulina of course um she ran a stellar race ending up in that second spot behind the world champion maria liedi Paulino of the Dominican Republic won this one in 49.36 with Jamaica's Candice McLeod equaling her season's best uh, time of 50.19 to take that second spot. Uh, of note, um, Barbados' Sada Williams, who won the bronze medal at the World Championships, came fourth in this race with a time of, of, of 50.95. One over to the right of pitcher, but uh, Paulino now, who always finishes strongly, Eases past McLeod outsider as the stagger run winds in her favor. Going well two in lanes three and four. Uh, Obi Jackson in lane three. Sadie Williams in four. But good determined running from Candice McLeod as uh, Paulino streaks away. Watch the clock. She's finished like a rocket, but did all the. 
I am such a huge fan of Candice McLeod. She's such a great talent. Now, the last time both ladies met was, of course, in the finals of the 400 meters. In this instance, um, Candice McLeod, she herself was disappointed. She came seventh. This is the finals, of course, at World Championships 2023, which just took place about a week ago in Budapest. So the positive here is that McLeod put together a much more uh, effective race against Paulino in this instance. And uh, I wouldn't say she came a close second, but certainly she ran a much better race against Paulino than she ran in the finals in Budapest. Now, the fact is, um, Candice McLeod herself was very disappointed. Uh, if we had the time, we'd have uh, shared an interview she did. But she did come back and redeem herself, winning a silver medal and running a brilliant leg in the brilliant opening leg in the women's 4 by 400 meters final, which is she's one of the primary reasons i believe the, all the, everyone in the team ran really well but she's one of the primary reasons why i think we ended up with that incredible silver medal candice mcleod is going to be on that podium someday very soon i think 2024 is a possibility she's such an incredible talent now i know i know that the 400 meters is extremely competitive um you know obviously paulino uh my gosh i, I can keep going going down the list sada williams herself is a great talent um there's just a whole a plethora and of course you know uh Milo Weibo is back uh so you know now this of course is my two cents now I thought both of these athletes did a spectacular job um now they didn't win which would have been incredible but I believe both athletes showed heart guts and did really well the race that Rasheed McDonald produced I thought was a solid run um, makes up for the slight disappointment of his opening leg in the men's 4 by 400 meter relays in my personal opinion but still good look great one lap and of course sub 45 this young lady candice mcleod you know i'm a huge fan big big believer in her and i think i mean she still has not this season for some odd reason she just has not hit a sub 50 and as i had said for you to win at world championships you'd have had to run something like a sub 49 which is exactly what happened but she's such a great competitor seventh ranked in the world at this point based on world championships she's incredibly talented and should not be taken lightly um i think the time is coming because she's been consistent she keeps working hard if you look at the numbers and like i said this has been it's been a mixed season because she just has not been at her best and she's she's normally a sub 50 runner she still has not yet hit sub 50 this season so far we're pretty late in the season but people you're not going to always have a great season i am looking forward to see what happens for her next year i hope she remains injury free and i did think that the second place run showed a lot of adjustment of obviously herself and her team went back looked at what happened in the finals at world championship adjusted it and she ran a much better race uh, coming in second here of course it wasn't the, the top tier top tier team that she ran against but i still think this was a really really good look but this of course is my two cents now don't forget to hit subscribe button hit notification bell hit the like button remember your royals kings and queens bless up